The Psychology of Training, Part 4. Is training gambling, or can I actually have an edge when trading? Okay, so trading is not gambling, okay? There is skill involved in trading. Now, some traders will think it's gambling, and also the ones who do gamble while trading aren't dedicated, okay, to learning how to trade, to where to put the odds in your favor, and to actually understand what they're doing, okay? And that's why they usually have big boom and bust, okay? It's kind of like you go to Vegas, you have no clue what you're doing, you walk over to the roulette table, you put 20 bucks down on number 14, 14 comes up, you win 35 times 20 bucks, okay? Just one five six hundred bucks, decent amount, right? And then you're like, hey, this is easy. And then within an hour, you've lost it all. And then another hundred bucks. That's gambling. They don't understand the odds of the game, right? Hey, bang, one number is not good odd. The odds of you winning is one out of thirty five. Okay. And so, um, in trading, we need to understand the odds and look for high probabilities when trading, okay? Um, this is if you're trading options, right? Maybe you put on high probability trades where you could be wrong and still make money. Uh, risk management, risk-defined trades, trades where you can leverage your capital, okay? Um, stocks or futures, look for support and resistance levels, okay? These are going to be very high probability trades because everybody else is looking at a support level, right? Something like a uh, pivot point. As price pulls back to a pivot point, okay? Well, guess what? Everybody else sees that same pivot point, and if they're all buying, shouldn't you be buying too? Because the probability or the odds of everybody else buying are pretty high, okay? Especially if it's uh, fallen for a while, come down for a little bit of time, right? So, do you have problems of over-trading? Okay, there's a lot of traders who over-trade. Again, going back, that's the gambler. Okay, that's the gambler trading. Um, some people have problems of, hey, they're, they just keep trading and trading and they maybe they dig themselves a hole. Okay, and then guess what? They're like, man, I got to get, get myself out of this hole and they keep trading and they keep losing. They keep seeing the market the wrong way. Okay, um, now there are people where they'll do really good in the morning, then give up all their profits. In the afternoon, right? Over trading. Guess what? If you have a good morning, a good mor first trade, call it a day. Leave. Get up. Turn off the computer. Lock in your profits and go go somewhere else. Or just to put go into paper mode, okay? And just try and learn, okay? And not trade with, and maybe work on the strategy that you're using, okay? Don't give up your profits. A lot of traders I've seen do it over and over. They do really good on their first couple trades, and by the end of the day, instead of being up a couple hundred bucks, they're down a couple hundred, and now they're upset, okay? Um, create a trading plan slash system, right? That's kind of part of the psychology, right? It's going to make everything a lot smoother. Imagine, uh, the foot kind of going back to the football analogy, do these teams just kind of take the whole week off and show up on Sunday to go play football? No. They practice, right? They have a plan. They have specific uh, running plays, passing plays, right? The balls can go to this guy no matter what, okay? That's a, a plan. We need to do the same thing with trading. Guess what? If price reaches this level, I'm going to buy. If the RSI does this, I'm going to buy. Or I'm going to sell, okay? You must believe in your trading plan slash system and trade it. So if you have a plan, okay, you must believe in your trade plan. You must believe in your system, okay? And when you see the trade, take it, okay? Just place the trade and just go, 
I've seen this setup over and over. I've practiced it. It should work. Now, is it going to work 100% of the time? No, because that's part of trading. That's why we have the willingness to accept our losses. But more times than not, if we follow that plan, we're going to make money. And then see the trade, say the trade, place the trade. This is probably one of the most important sayings. And this is something I've come up with. Okay. Um, I came up with it years ago for my own personal uh, kind of help um, to make me a better trader. Okay. For to take the emotion out. There are so many times where I'll see the trade. Okay, and I'll say the trade, hey, that's a double bottom. I see it, I say it, but then I don't place it. Okay, so now I created the saying of see the trade, say the trade, place the trade, because it's kind of like when you're driving down the street, you see a Ferrari, you're like, oh, wow, look, that's a Ferrari. And then you speed up, right, to go or, or you walk over to it or what, drive closer to it if you're driving, right? It's the same exact thing with trading. You see the trade, the say the trade, and then just press the button and take the trade. You must have a willingness to accept your losses. We've talked about this. Again, this is probably maybe number in my top five, okay? When, when, when I have bad trades, I lose. Hey, I have the willingness to accept the loss. I move on to the next trade. I don't get emotional. I don't get upset. I don't get mad. Okay. Because I, because at the end of the day, I know, Hey, look, I'm not going to win all, all the trades, but with that, I, Hey, I know I'm going to lose some trades and I'm going to win a lot more than I lose. The fear of pulling the trigger and losing money. This is can be geared not for the over trader, but the complete other spectrum, right? For the under trader or for the trader who's fearful of losing money. The trader who, who watches, the paper trader who just keeps watching all the time, but they never place the trade, right? Do you have problems pulling the trigger? Okay. Do you have the fear of losing money? Do you have the fear of being wrong? These are all the things of the scared money, right? This is, um, or the very, uh, maybe even a borderline conservative trader, right? They always have to be right. They, they're, they're fearful of putting the trade on and being wrong, okay? And all these things cause traders from pulling the trigger. Okay. Do you, are you trading with scared money? Are you trading too big? Again, don't trade a hundred shares, trade 10 shares, trade 20 shares. Okay. Your wins are going to be a lot less, but guess what? Your losses are going to be a lot less too. Maybe look at options, leverage your money. <clears throat> so here's the fear of pulling trigger and losing money, right? The kind of break it down. Fear. Fear placing trades. You're scared to pull the trigger. The voices in your head are telling you not to take the trade. Okay. Remembering times you placed a trade and you were wrong on the trade. These are all things that you start to think of, right? Oh my God, what if I take this trade and I lose again? Okay. Oh, I'm going to have a drawdown in my account. This is all part of understanding and identifying who you are as a trader. Being wrong. The fear of being, being wrong on a trade. Don't, you, you don't want to place the trade and be wrong again. Okay. That's what a lot of traders, what happens to a lot of traders. Um, sometimes, uh, it's their ego gets bruised, right? They sit there and they're just, they have such a high ego. They care more about other people. Oh, wow, you lost that trade. Oh, you, you're an idiot or whatever, right? No, dude, who cares? Okay, trade your own game plan. And then the feeling of you can't win. Okay, you, you just feel like every trade I put on, I always lose, right? I'm never going to win this game. Well, guess what? Chances are you're cherry picking every trade. Okay, you, you see the trade, you say the trade, but you never place the trade. And then when you finally get the courage, 
you place the trade, you lose. And then it takes you another two or three weeks to rebuild that courage and place the trade again. And then guess what happens? You lose again. Okay. And that's because you're cherry picking while you're not trying, you're seeing win, 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 loss, win, 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 loss, win, win. And then you finally take it is the loss, right? So take all your trades and then the fear of losing money, right? Um, scared you may lose your financial security and freedom. Okay, maybe uh, you may need to stop trading due to your uh, drawdown in the account value, right? Um, hey, I can't, I, I keep losing. I never make money. I got to go back and get a real job, okay? Or I'm blowing money. I can't keep doing this. I'm always wrong or I'm always losing money. Okay, um, may lose the passion for trading. Okay, all these things, when you get all your emotions in check, you're going to actually not lose your passion. You're not going to lose all the time. When you actually have a trade plan, everything becomes so much easier in trading. When you do your homework, you understand and you learn what technical analysis and support and resistance and all these different things. Okay, um, and then do you think too much? Okay, just stop thinking and trade. I did this. I still do it to this day. I'm not going to tell you I'm perfect, okay? Like other people out there who teach, oh, yeah, a, no, dude, we all have our own demons, okay? But it's being aware of your thinking. Okay. And I used to think all the time, again, what if I lose? What if this happens? What if that? Okay. Just stop thinking, see the trade, say the trade, place the trade. Remember that saying. Okay. I guarantee you it's going to help you. Control your fear, your inner demons and the voices in your head. Identify who you are as a trader. Identify how, how to control your emotions. Remember, don't let your emotions control you. You control your emotions. And when you're able to control your emotions, then you become that much better of a trader. And then stay cool, calm, and collective at all times. Do not panic. Okay? One of the th issues most traders have is they don't have a plan, right? If you don't have a plan and you're in a stock, Okay, and it's it starts going against you. What do you do? Uh, you panic and you sell out. But guess what? If you have a plan, I'm gonna enter here. Here's my stop loss. Here's my target. It's gonna hit one of them. That's a trade plan. Guess what? You're gonna stay cool. You're gonna be calm, and you're gonna be collective at all times. And there's never gonna be a need to panic because you automatically have a stop loss in case it keeps going lower, and you know how much money you're gonna lose. Okay. So next up is gonna be a part part five, video five of this uh, series, and we're gonna talk about trading rules to live by every single day.